Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Becoming Cleo. I am so excited that you're here. Today we're going to be doing something very fun and my fave is we're going to be making some shea butter. So I got this unrefined shea butter from Amazon. This is typically the type and the brand that I use. So we're going to be using this. And I have two herbal infusions that I'm going to be incorporating into this batch of shea butter. So the first herbal infusion that I'm going to be using is this hibiscus and sweet almond oil right here. I'll be straining the hibiscus leaves and then I'm going to be using this oil with the shea butter. The second one that I have is lavender and jojoba herbal infusion. I'm going to be doing the same thing and I'll show you guys the process as well. So my shea butter is going to be part hibiscus and I'm going to make a second batch that's going to be lavender. Those are going to be the two types of herbal infusions that I'm going to be incorporating into my shea butter. I also have a double boiler that I'm going to use to melt down the shea butter. And this is the jar that the shea butter is going to be going on. I have a sticker label and a little marker so I'm going to make sure that I label the shea butter. But yeah. I'm going to be making shea butter, so let's get right into it. Now that we figured out how much shea butter that I'm going to be using, I put the half that I'm actually going to use into the double boiler, which was like that silver pot. And now I'm going to boil some water and then put the double boiler on top of the actual pot. And what that's going to do is just essentially just going to melt down the shea butter until it turns into a liquid, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to show you guys what that process looks like. So the shea butter is almost melted and while that's melt and while that's finishing up i'm going to strain my herbal infusions and get them ready to add into the shea butter Now that the shea butter is all melted and the herbal infusions are now strained and put into their own separate jars, I have two mixing bowls. And I'm going to be putting two different batches of shea butter inside of the mixing bowls. One for the hibiscus oil and then one for the lavender oil. What I'm going to do now is take the shea butter and pour half in this bowl and then half in that bowl and then add in a little bit of the two herbal infusions. So the bigger bowl, which is this one, this is going to be the bowl with the lavender oil in it. And I poured more of the lavender oil, I poured more of the lavender oil in this one just because it's a bigger bowl. And then this is the bowl that has the hibiscus oil in it and it has a lot less, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do now is place both of these bowls in the freezer 
And I think I'm gonna probably set a timer for like 30 minutes to an hour. But the goal is really gonna to be to make sure the shea butter has like a thin, cold layer on top that when I put my finger through to puncture it, it goes directly in. So you don't want the shea butter to be frozen. You just want it to be cold enough to where you can actually break the top layer. We're gonna start with 45 minutes and I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna see what it's looking like. And then if it needs more time, I'll go ahead and add more time to the timer. But yeah, let's see. Oh, and with the leftover herbal infusions, I actually need to buy a container to put the oil in because I want to use this on the day to day. These smell so good. This one has like a really, really beautiful, yummy lavender scent. And this one has a really good hibiscus scent. So I'm going to be using these as like body oil. So I'm super excited to continue to try these out. And if you want a video where I'm showing you how to make my herbal infusions, let me know and I can definitely make a video like that as well. But I'm going to see you guys in 45 minutes. Like, So this one is going to be the hibiscus oil. And as you can see, it's pretty solid and I can break through the top layer. So that means it's ready for me to whip it with my hand mixer. The lavender one that has a lot more in it. Oh yeah, this one got, this one actually got really cold because I can't even break the layer. So I'm gonna do the hibiscus oil one first just because I wanna like give the lavender one time to like thaw out a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is take this, get my hand mixer, and then I'm gonna start whipping the shea butter. But before I do that guys, I think in the beginning of this video, I might've told you guys that I also ordered some mango butter. So and it actually just came in. So I have some mango body butter on the double boiler right now. Add that one into one of these different mixes and just to kind of see what it would look like. So one of these is gonna be shea butter and then one of these is gonna be shea and mango butter together. And mixer right here. Just have to put on the little things. I'm just gonna turn this on and I'm going to mix the shea butter. I always start with it on low and then I just go in after that. I really like the consistency of it and the texture but as you can see there's like not a lot of shea butter in here at all so i think to the this is the hibiscus uh or this is the hibiscus herbal infusion one i think i'm gonna add in the mango butter to this one just so we can have more because i feel like this is really not a lot now i'm gonna go in i'm going to hand mix the lavender oil I'm gonna mix the lavender herbal infusion one and we're gonna see what that looks like because that one has a lot more and it's a lot harder. So one looks like right now it's not looking like shea butter at all it's way too oily so hopefully that'll do the trick but for the hibiscus one do a little tester this is what the consistency looks like and then I'll put some on my arm so you guys can get a good feel of it and it feels so good on your skin so now that this one's done, I think I'm going to put it in the jar, let the mango butter harden up in the freezer, and then I'm going to mix it around a little bit more and hope that that helps it. But so far, I think that the hibiscus one is definitely a success. Here is the hibiscus shea butter, and it looks so good. So excited to use it. I'm just going to label it. But it turned out so good. I'm really proud of this one and I'm hoping that the lavender oil one can pull through. Okay, for the lavender shea butter, I was able to get it together as best as I could. It's still very oily, but I think that's fine. We're about to enter in the cold months. So I think it's okay for it to be this oily and my hope is that over time that it will just thicken up a little bit. Or maybe I'll even add in some shea butter to this like overall i'm happy with how it turned out 
I do wish it was a little bit thicker compared to like the hibiscus one. Let me show you guys the texture and the consistency of lavender and mango shea butter. This is what it looks like. So it's very oily. It's like it's slipping from my hands. Looks like this. And then we're just gonna apply some to the skin. It feels so good on your skin, like this is what my arm looks like after. I'm still gonna use the shea butter regardless because one thing I won't be is ashy out in these streets. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for making this DIY whip shea butter with me. I hope this video was helpful. Get to connect with me across all socials at Becoming Cleo. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.